Well guys, I wasn't going to make a video on the passenger side seat for the Jeep because I thought it was going to be exactly the same as the driver's side seat. It was not. So here's the bracing I had to make. Um, this is the outside part of the bracket. It's going to be facing like the door. So when I bolt the angle iron to the floor like I did on the driver's side it ends up like right about here so it's a good probably two three inches to match it up so there was no possible way to uh, make it work I thought about flipping this around and just making spacers but I didn't want the bolts visible from the outside so this way you're still not going to see the bolts the other bracket is like right here the inside bracket by the console is like over here so my plan is to weld this directly to that bracket weld this directly to that bracket and uh i'm not going to touch it because i just finished welding it up but uh yeah that's the plan as of right now i'm going to also the way i did the angle was so that i can see i got the flat here I got a flat there and the flats on the other side so I can put that there and weld that to that angle and to the this piece on both front and back and be good. This I'm not gonna worry about. I triangulated that a little bit if that makes a difference at all. I mean, these are also triangulated just square to the frame. So I don't know if that's gonna matter at all, but whatever, you know, it's fine. So uh, I think my next plan, I planned on using this for the uprights right there, I was going to triangulate it from here, just weld this directly on the inside to keep it from swaying so I could get rid of the other brace in the middle of the seat because I want the toughy underseat storage drawer for the JK. It's perfect for under there without the middle brace in the driver's side seat. Yeah, I'll show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> if I didn't have this brace right there, the storage bin or the storage would be perfect but since i have that i've got to lose it it's got to go so i'm thinking about getting the angle which is why i bought that angle to put right here right there right there um probably right there going up here just to keep this from flexing and right here or wherever you know what i mean so i could lose this gigantic piece which i'm still probably going to do I also want to raise the seat up an inch, so I'm trying to figure out the best way to go about doing that. I dropped this thing yesterday. I was going to put it back in the Jeep, and it slipped out of my hand and destroyed the paint, so now I had to repaint it. So, that's where we're at for this. Um, like an idiot, I was cutting the first piece of angle. Oh, uh, let me show you what I did. This is how I got it down. I cut a notch in this side piece and then I just welded all that up. Um, but like an idiot, I was wearing sandals. Literally, the last millimeter of metal. Caught the grinder, shot out of my hand, hit the ground, hit my foot. Put me out of work for the day. Um, so there's part one. That's where we're at so far. Trying to make it as strong as possible. Um, yeah, over bracing is cool. I'm gonna brace the shit out of this thing. I don't care. I'm not worried about storage space under here. Um, I don't like the way this has had to be made, but like I said, it had to be made this way. So it's whatever, but we'll go from there. So here's part one. <laughs>